uh, settings. Okay, so now to open the image, so you can just uh, double click on the images to open this. So here I'm just going to open this one. All right, so once you open the images, then you probably will see this display adjustment or not. So if you didn't see this display adjustment, you can always go to edit and uh, show display adjustment here. Uh, this is the window or function for you to change the color or the display of your uh, image data. Okay. So we will talk about it later. But first, when you open the images, uh, you can to check whether this uh, dimension is correct or not. You can always use uh, Control plus I or Command plus I to open this uh, image properties windows, or you can access this window from from Edit. So edit image properties here. Okay. So here you can see the uh, geometry of your images. So including the voxel size. So if you didn't uh, enter the correct voxel size when you come when you uh, convert the T file series, or if Imaris does not recognize this correctly, you can always manually type in the correct number for the X, Y, and the Z here. Okay, so you just type in different numbers and click OK, then Imaris will change it, change it for you. Then, of course, after you change to the correct number, you always want to uh, save, save the numbers, save the files here. Okay, so that is the uh, image properties and uh, also it has some uh, data set you can check about the name and uh, some log if you have any and descriptions you can type in your own descriptions and it will save together with the IMS file. Okay, so this name will be displayed on top of the windows here. Uh, I cannot see it's blocked, but yeah, here. Okay, so if you want to change that, you can also change. But it is not uh, the, the saved file names it is uh, different. So this name and the saved file name is different. So sometimes it's confusing, but uh, you can have your own name here while you have the other uh, saved file names. So just, just for your information. Okay, so that is image properties. And the control plus D is the display adjustment where you can change the color of display by dragging these uh, errors indicators here. So to adjust the minimum and the maximum and also the gamma here. Okay, so to change the color of the channels, you can click on the channel name. So this window will open, it's the same each properties, but now we are under this uh, channel menu. So you can change the colors here. So for example, I want to change to, uh, to the purple. Um, I can click, okay, then I can change. And except from the best color, we can also change to the map color. So for example, if you want to display the different uh, intensities, in different uh, colors. So we can change the lookup table here, like this, okay? So now different color shows different intensities. For some applications, this may be a better uh, way to display their images. So you can always change here, okay? So this lookup table, you can also um, change to your own uh, color. Actually, I can show you. So here, just change the base color and change back. Maybe color custom. Okay, so here, uh, for example, this is the original ones. Then 
if I want to change to the file like this, but I want the maybe uh, first uh, one third, first one third of the uh, lookup table to be a different uh, transition, a different color, I can always edit, click the edit. So for example, the zero intensity, I will use the whole black. And uh, from here to here, to, to here, I want to uh, gradient green. So I can change to green for this one. So multi select by holding the shift from here to here, I can say interpolate. So now the from the zero to roughly maybe one fourth of the uh, intensity pixels will be changed to this uh, green gradient. I can click OK like this. Hmm. So you can have your own uh, edit on this uh, lookup table if you like. Okay. So now I'm just going to change back. So that is uh, to change the color. And also, of course, you can change the name of each channel if you like by editing the name here. Okay. So that is the display adjustment. And sometimes if your uh, dynamic range is very uh, small, so sometimes it's difficult to adjust uh, by dragging these two uh, arrows is too close here, then you can move your mouse to uh, the histogram here and use zoom in the scroll, mouse scroll to zoom in this uh, space. So now you will have a larger 